Hi guys, my name is Ozzy, and today I'm going to be doing a real verse fake comparison on the Air Jordan 11 Low Legend Blue. So I gotta play smart. I've been getting dope teams every time my phone rings. And I did a real verse fake comparison back in 2018 for the Air Jordan 11 Concord colorway. So it's been a while since I did a real verse fake for a pair of sneakers. So I'm trying to be more uh, consistent with that. So, you know, you guys, if you subscribe, to my channel press the like button leave a comment and share the video with some friends I continue to get the money to keep getting the real and the fake you know these type of videos cost money that's why I don't do them as often as I used to but uh yeah you guys go ahead and leave in the comments section below which pair you think or which shoe you think is real or, and which shoe you think is fake I'm gonna give you guys like five seconds to go ahead leave your comment or pause the video and leave the comment all right Cool. Since you guys are still here, the shoe on the left is the fake one, and the shoe on the right is the real one. You're probably like, how can I tell? Well, let's go ahead and get into the analysis slash breakdown. We're going to start with the back of the shoes. Boom. All right, so, as you can see, I'm... Oh, yeah, also, these are both the right shoe of each pair, so just to make everything like simpler and like make more sense. So, on the back of the shoe, on the heel, you can see the Jumpman on the real pair versus the Jumpman on the fake pair are completely different sizes. The Jumpman on the fake pair, the legs are super skinny and the legs aren't as wide. They form a tiny triangle going this way, but for the real Jumpman, the legs are spread way farther apart. So that's a good indicator of knowing like which one it actually is. And then another thing, if you look at the basketball, the basketball for the Jumpman is also a lot larger. The, bas the basketball on the fake pair is like really tiny. It's almost like a, like, a, like a period, like a dot. So that's the difference. And then another thing to take note of is the 23 on the back right here, like this material. Look at the shape. The shape right here is an uneven letter U shape. It's supposed to be a U shape going like this. So if you look right here, it's lopsided on the left side. It needs to be even on both sides. That's how you can tell. So if you ever buy a pair off of somebody like on offer up or something, you can use that as a way to compare. Then now we're going to look at the bottom part of the sole. Move this forward a little bit. So one thing you notice off rib is that the color of the soles is completely different. The fake pair looks more like a a glowing green tint, whereas the real pair it's a it's actually the same color as the Jumpman. So Legend Blue clear sole. So this is mint green. This is that Legend Blue clear sole. And then if you look right here, the the pointed area is like way more rounded. It's supposed to be sharp or sharper in comparison. And then you'll see that there's like a gap. Like it pushes into like right here. Yeah, focus. You see that there's like a little a, a rift right here where the point goes. It's not supposed to be a rift at all. It's supposed to just be cut straight right here and then not have any space in between the triangular point. So go ahead and look at that. You see that, that gap in between? There shouldn't be a gap in between the point. And then another thing right here, when you look at the the bottom of the sole, it's supposed to make like this uh, this this U shape right here. And uh, let me go ahead and bring it closer so you guys can see. So right here, for the real pair, the the line goes further out into the side of the shoe whereas right here it goes closer here so that line is supposed to go way further out for the real pair as you see the fake pair is, is shorter so it goes like this so it kind of looks like the base of a right triangle a little bit but it doesn't curve as much like the curvature is way goes up a, a, a lot higher compared to so this one almost like a straight line so yep, use that as a good reference point. Alright, let's go ahead and look on the side. 
to make a pretty big difference right here. So I gotta say the the thick pair, the laces are like the same thickness, you know, not much different on that. I would say that the major difference is that these laces are way longer. Like you see this, they're both tied to the same length or to the same eyelet spot, but these laces are significantly way longer. Like I have a tie. The same consistency, but this the aglet drops all the way down here, which is a huge no-no, to be honest. Let's go ahead and compare the sides. So, the patent leather on the fake pair is way more shiny. It's not going to show up on the camera that well, but this is, like, super shiny in comparison. And this is, like, one of those things where, like, you literally wouldn't be able to tell unless you had both shoes, like, the real and the fake side by side. So, like I said, I always tell people that if paying resale is kind of pointless unless you like really want a shoe, but if you are going to get a shoe for resale, make sure you know exactly what you're looking for and do your research. Like, look up videos like this, go on forums, sneaker threads, you know, or bring someone that's more knowledgeable about sneakers before you go buy a shoe from some a complete stranger, you know, or someone that's not like a reputable reseller. All right, let's go ahead and go into some more details. So, right here, as you can see, there's a stitching. There's a stitching right here, right? So it's supposed to be four lines. One, two, three, four. But the stitching size is inconsistent on, like, right here. It's going to be a lot harder to explain. So... Right here, the stitching for the eyelet, they're all the same size, so it's super consistent. Like, going down, it's one, two, three, four, and they're all the same size on the real one. On the fake one, the stitching is bigger on the middle stitching right here versus the the top and bottom. The top and bottom are, are really small stitches, and then the middle are the same size, but on the real one, the stitching is literally all even, so this is like one of those minute things that you're literally not going to be able to tell unless you have them side by side. The stitching over here is pretty much the same, like around the patent leather, so I can't really use that as a comparison. All right, let's go ahead and look at the tongue and see if we see any difference. We got we got a little little thing right here. So the mesh on the tongue right here, the little rectangle spaces are like way tighter, right? Let's see if it shows on the camera. So it's supposed to be diag it's diagonal on both pairs, right? But on the fake pair, the these are like way tighter, like they're more spaced out on the real pair. So just so you can see it, this is tightly knit. This is more spaced out on the real pair. Now let's look at the insoles and take those out for comparison. Let's see. Shoe tree for the fake, and this is the shoe tree for the real. The shoe trees are almost similar for, let's see right here. I think you can kind of see the difference, right? So look at the recycling symbol on the fake pair. It's way, it's a way deeper, like, it's a deeper embossed. It's deeper embossed on the on the fake one. And on the real one, it's not even that deep. So look, very close. And also, it's really funny. So look, the shoe tree size is off, right? So the number, 
they're both a size 11 shoe but the fig pair has a size nine to nine and a half stamped on the on the fig shoe tree and then on the real one it has the actual size that's supposed to be 11 to 11 and a half so just a little way to tell yeah, now we're going to take the insoles out of the pair real you're probably like how am i keeping track of all this so i've already worn the real ones a bunch of times i got these from the sneakers app snkrs so i have the insoles taped because that's what i do with all my shoes when i buy them that way they don't fade off in case I want to resell them. Just to keep the value up. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and look. So the insole for the fake pair is like a, a deep jet black. And the insole for the real pair is like a lightly faded. Again, it's one of those things where like literally you wouldn't be able to tell unless you compare them side by side. So I wouldn't take it too literal. However, the thing that's a big difference that's actually good to point out is that the shape for the bottom of the insole is off on the fake pair. So you can see the cut right here is sloppy. It's supposed to be nice and rounded at, at the bottom. Let's go ahead and put them together. So you can see, look at that. It's frayed on the side right here. It's not even at all. And now we'll go ahead and flip it. It's another big deal right here too. So right here on the fake pair, on the fake insole, it has it has the the numbers and letters on it. It says AJ11, QF, TAC8, MS11, B, and then it has like all this other information on it. On the real pair, the insoles don't have any numbers on it. See that? Look at that. It should be completely blank. There shouldn't be any logos or stamping on it. Actually, hold on. It is, but it's just it's just a lot it's just a lot more faded. So this it has like a little square on the bottom, but on the real one, it's supposed to have the size number right here. So this is a size eleven shoe, so it has size eleven on the bottom of this on the bottom of the insole. Whereas the fake one, it literally doesn't have any numbers at the bottom. So dead giveaway for that check the insoles because <laughs> looking at the outside of the shoe like I said it's a lot harder to tell if you don't have a side-by-side -side comparison you know so insoles make it a dead giveaway let's see the inside is pretty similar on that there's like a random white stitching on the fake one on the inside of the shoe I don't know if it will show up but anyway, insoles, insole is going to be a good indicator for you to find out if the shoe is real or not. So definitely want to use that as a way to tell. Insole and shoe tree. And now we'll look at the sole. So real being on top, fig being on the bottom. So if you look at the carbon fiber, the carbon fiber on the fake pair is a lot darker. As you can see, let's zoom in. The blue like is a lot more vibrant. Whereas the blue on the real pair. And also Look at the carbon fiber, right? It's supposed to be squares, like being diagonal from each other. On the fake pair, they're not squares. They're they're octagons, or they look like circles. Yeah, they're octagons on the fake pair. So let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit more, so you can see. You can see the difference. Real pair squares, fake pair octagons. So. Nice little way to tell. And everything else is pretty similar, but that's like the major difference. Let's see, traction looks pretty similar. Oh, another thing on the fake pair, the let me zoom out a little bit. On the real pair, the 
the jump man, the ball is there's a larger gap between it between that and the oval pod right here. On the fake pair, the ball is really close to the to the pod. Whereas on the real pair, which is the one on the top, the ball is far away from the pod. It should not be this close. But look at look at the difference. It's like this much of a space, but then right here is basically t it's it's pretty much dang near touching the the pod. So yep, that'll be all for my comparison for which is real, which is fake. Fake on the left, real on the right. Very close. But once we got some of those minor details broken down, it made it pretty easy to tell which is which. So let's be on the lookout for fakes, because at the end of the day, they're all made at the they're all made at the same place. I don't really care if a person wears fakes. The problem is if someone is selling you a pair of shoes as if they're real for that resale price. So let's say the resale is like $350 and then they're selling the fakes for that resale price. If they were selling the fakes for like the retail price itself, it wouldn't be that big of a deal because, yeah, but anyway, just protect yourselves on being scammed. You can use apps like uh, Check Check and StockX. I guess StockX isn't very reliable. You can use Goat. Goat has never failed me before, so. Anytime the shoe is fake, they literally just go ahead and cancel the order and, and give you a refund. So, yeah. Hopefully this video helped you guys out a lot. And uh, go ahead and leave a like for the video. Subscribe to my channel. And share with your friends so I can be able to do more real versus fake. That way I can help people out and not get scammed. And that's the goal of these videos. And I'm out. Peace. Cuba, Cuba, yeah, yeah, yeah. Scatter, yeah. these haters love to.